A group of school resource officers in Chesapeake are going above and beyond to help a family in their area. This family fell on hard times, losing jobs, a home, and possessions. One thing after another, not the community is helping out now. 10 on your side's Maria Elena Ballora spoke with the officers and the family. Maria Elena. Well, they all met, the officers met Logan at their annual summer camp, and they say they just instantly took to him. They realized, though, that his teeth had been taken out because of a bone disease. He and his brother both have it, and it makes their bones and their teeth brittle. Officers figured out a way to help with their teeth, and then they didn't stop there. Caleb and Logan play like any other kids. It's what they love to do. But a large portion of their lives has been taken up by hospitals and doctors. Caleb, he goes to a neuro, allergist, immunology, regular immunology doctor, a regular primary care doctor. Caleb is going into ninth grade and Logan is going into sixth. Both boys have autism, ADHD, and osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bone disease. Your teeth are only held up by gum. Fixing that was the first thing Chesapeake School Resource Officers set out to do when they met Logan. To help this family get back on their feet and make it a good school year for them. They found a local dentist who was making dentures for both boys for free. But the officers didn't stop there. Now they're enlisting the help of the community to help the entire family. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where you know what the right thing to do is and it's, it's not even a second thought. As the officers got to know Logan, they learned his family had recently spent time living in hotels because his father lost his job. The family had put all of their belongings into storage, and one thing led to another, and they were unable to pay the storage fees. They lost everything except the clothes on their backs. And through other organizations, they finally moved into a home this past weekend. Right now, we're just trying to get furniture in here, and I'm trying to get them ready for school. And that is where the officers have come in to help, getting people to donate clothes, food, tools, furniture, anything that can help this family get back on their feet. I can't say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you as much as I want. If you would like to donate or get involved to help this family, we'll have information on how to do that posted on wavy.com. I'm Maria Elena Ballores, 10 on your side.